best friends. Those special people to share life's crazy adventures with. You laugh together, play together, the mates to stop us from getting into trouble, or who sometimes get you into it. The Great Barrier Reef is full of friendships. Lots of creatures, often of different kinds, forming unlikely bonds in order to survive. One of these classic friendships beneath the waves can be seen in the many types of fish who choose to hang out together by forming schools, often looking like a well-synchronized dance as they swim together, elegantly and effortlessly. Oh, follow the leader. Sticking with such a big group of pals has its benefits. There's a greater defense from predators, higher success rate when foraging for food, and a greater chance to find a mate. Oh, now there's room for my mother! What? One creature that has a rather funny way of making friends is the boxer crab. As a form of defense, this mighty crab will pick up a small tuft of sea anemones and take full advantage of its stinging tentacles by using them to warn away any would-be opponents who would consider him lunch. The anemones don't mind being worn as boxing gloves, however, as they're able to feed on all the food kicked up by the crab as he snacks on the seafloor. It's a symbiotic friendship where both creatures benefit from the arrangement. Hey, what's all the screaming up there? Now we can be together forever! <laughs> Another unlikely friendship is that of the goby fish and pistol shrimp. These two different species have a very beneficial arrangement. The shrimp, who is almost completely blind, is looked out for by his bodyguard friend, the goby, left to safely spend its time clearing away its burrow and eating algae from the garden. But the goby and shrimp remain in constant contact. When danger is near, the goby waves its tail, signaling it's time to retreat before following the shrimp back inside, who is more than happy to share its cozy home with its protective chum. A friendship which gives both creatures the best chance of survival. Hey, SpongeBob. Yes, Patrick? Do you know how to swim? No. Me neither. The friendships and relationships on the reef can be as unique as the creatures themselves, forming incredible and unique bonds in the unlikeliest of situations. We too can buddy up to give them a hand, or a fin, on the reef and in the oceans. Extreme changes in temperature, poor water quality and pollution has meant that many of those that once lived there no longer can. Hello? But the good news is, we can do our bit to actively help make real change happen. Simple actions like saying no thanks to single-use plastics, such as straws, cups, bottles, plastic bags, and even minimizing our food wastage can all contribute to a start in the right direction. Sign up to become an honorary junior citizen of the reef today and find out what small actions you can do in your everyday life that will have a big impact on our beloved Great Barrier Reef. Once you've enlisted, be sure to spread that word. That way we can all work together to ensure a brighter future for the reef and help these guys stay BFFs forever.